What's up, everybody? So today, I wanted to make a quick little video, um, one of the starts of a video series I'm going to be doing alongside a Skyrim mod video. So each day I'll try to do a video such as this one, or just a random video, and then I'll try to do a Skyrim mod video. Um, but I'm going to be doing a video series on pretty much... Uh, boutique builders. Now, a boutique builder is someone that you know if you don't want to build your own system, but you want a really high-end gaming system, and you know you are quite wary about ordering your own parts, make sure they come in right, and all that good crap. A boutique system builder will build a system for you, um, and they'll ship it to you, they'll install OS to it, um, sometimes they'll install games. And, you know, a lot of controversy is, or in, for me anyway, it's, it's kind of a tie between building your own system and a boutique builder. Because some of the advantages of a boutique builder is sometimes uh, they have custom cases, they can do water cooling things that usually you can't do. Um, one thing is that they check to make sure that the system works before they ship it to you uh, They make sure it's operational um, And they can overclock your stuff um, And a lot of times they're actually better at this than a lot of uh, you know average Joe's but of course with a with building your own system you get uh, personal parts which you know you can pick out whatever part you want in this uh, they have motherboard options, graphics card options, stuff like that. But you know, the usual one we able to get uh, specialized um, graphics cards. Like you know, you won't be able to get the classifieds of EVGA. They usually have usually basic stuff, and sometimes they're kind of just linked to one manufacturer. Uh, I guess that person supports them or something. But there's just not as many options now. First one we're going to be checking out is Origin. Origin is a very, very good one. Uh, probably not... I don't know. They're my favorite when it comes to building a computer. Um, but they're quite expensive. Now, Origin, one of their main things is their custom cases. Now, uh, let's see if we can find one here. Yes. Um, let's go with mid-size. Origin, they have custom cases. These custom cases are actually really, really cool. Um, let's go ahead and you go to customize. And probably one of the main things I like about it is you can pretty much install a motherboard whichever way you want. Now, this is one of the cool things about going with Origin that is you can build your system and then you can keep this case. The case is not like it's in the motherboard's integrated into it. No, it's nothing like that. I don't think anybody does that because that's just retarded. But you can use this case for years to come and you can install whichever ULA you want. There's hundreds, not hundreds, there's a lot of fan options. And uh, it's just pretty cool case. There's lighting options too that are actually pretty cool. We have lighting right here and right here. And um, you can get a, uh, can, a little remote and you can customize those. But. Um, right here on their website you go to select orientation now pretty much what this is standard is like you'd see a normal PC and then you have 90 degrees standard which is um, up and down and then you have inverted which pretty much puts the panel on the other side and you install the system on the other side so it's the right other than the uh, rather than the left and then you have 90 inverted so yeah, that's pretty cool uh, it's very very many. There's a lot of options with this case now one of the main things that I like about them is Their paint jobs. They have really really cool paint jobs now They do get expensive uh, Probably one of my favorite ones is I think six hundred dollars I believe so, yes six hundred dollars most of these are 450 but this one is like that's their main thing It's kind of like their branding as you can see in the background here. It's six hundred dollars, but you also can get them custom painted which is really cool so since we're going to build just normal piss normal system of course I'm not going to buy it but I'm just going to walk you through building it uh, let's go to this red red's a really good color now um, here you go 
here you go, that's perfect. But um, here we are to the, um, pretty much the select of, uh, I guess, your processors and stuff. So this is like, choose your technology, but this is actually really does outcome as to a lot of other things you can get. Uh, you pretty much get AMD 990FX X99 or Z97. So we're just going to go ahead and go with Z97 because for a gaming build, that's pretty much all you need. One thing I don't understand there is that the X or the 990FX is almost the same as the Z79. It, it doesn't work like that. But anyway, um, so yeah, you get a case lighting remote, which is pretty cool. Uh, you get all kinds of different colors, and they ship with fans. And here, you go down and uh, pick which motherboard you want. So like I said, you know, they do have a few motherboard options, but you know, they don't have any... Uh, they don't have a lot of options, so I'm just going to go ahead and go with the Maximus Ranger. Uh, they have uh, custom cooling, which pretty much is just a closed loop radiator. Um, they don't have any you know, super uh, enthusiast grade for this. Um, now for their next one up, I think the Genesis is a full size tower. And just as a uh, just as a uh, notice, uh, the Genesis is actually the same thing, but it just puts a another little part under it. Here, so I'll go up and let's see. So you have eh, the Genesis. This is the Genesis, okay. And like I said, it just pretty much puts a bigger part underneath the normal tower of the Millennium, and. Uh, you know you have more water cooling options but that's about it so we'll go ahead and go with a 4790k very, very good processor um, you can get uh, free overclocking which is really really cool because you know they make sure it's stable and they send it to you and then you're pretty much just ready to game um, see like I said they're usually tied in to just a few people that they use parts like Corsair and EVGA you know, it's not a lot but still have they still these people do have very very good high quality stuff um, another one of the things that's cool about these um, boutique builders is I usually sleeve your um, cables um, so let's go ahead, go ahead and red yeah. and then like I said you know you get your um, graphics cards and like I said a lot of times they don't offer very many um, options like I think the only one I saw was I don't think they even have any options or right, let's just go ahead and go with dual 980s no option box drops down um, some of the boutique builders will give you like you know EVGA 980s or you know different brands but Apparently these don't. These are just these um, stock cards from NVIDIA. And then of course you got your graphics card overclocking which is really good because a lot of times if you try to overclock your graphics cards and you don't know what you're doing, uh, it'll crash your games and you think something's wrong with your, com your, your computer, but nothing's wrong with it. That's happened to me a lot of freaking times. And then you have uh, your memory options, uh, like I said, Course Air and you have HyperX. Um, let's go ahead and go with 16 gigabytes of HyperX. You get your operating systems, RAID controllers, and a lot of this stuff here is just optional extras. Um, let's go with a Seagate hard drive, or hybrid drive, it's really good. I'm putting one of those in my system. Uh, and you get RAIDs, which this is one of the things I really do like about these system builders. I don't like to deal with RAID, but they'll do it for you. That's is pretty good. Um, and then you have uh, more bays. You can put hard drives in. I just like to go with one. Um, and you have different hard drive cages, optical drives, another optical drive, playback software, media card reader, and then you have audio options, uh, sound cards, and stuff like that. Networking, capture card, which is really, really cool. I like how they have this option. Um, this is probably one of the main things I like about Origin. They ship your stuff in a wooden crate. Like real wood, 
like it's not no like cardboard that looks like wood. It's like a bona fide wood crate that they would ship like rifles in. It's pretty badass. Warranty, and then origin recovery. Uh, this sends you a flash drive of your operating system and stuff. So if anything happens, plug the flash drive in and you're good to go. And then you have this is a upgrade service, which is pretty cool because you know. I guess if something happens and your system uh, two years, that's pretty cool. Pretty much what it'll do is it'll print upgrade your probably your graphics cards and CPU. I'm taking, uh, I'm thinking and stuff like that. Then you click continue, and this is probably where I'm gonna leave you guys off because you should be able to figure out everything else. Um, pretty much it's just you know your optional stuff, T-shirts. Uh, you get bundles, keyboards, mouse, uh, displays, and your speakers, uh, headsets, webcam, and you get games. That's pretty cool. I like how they do games. Uh, you know, locks. That's how I like how they do that too. They you can get a uh, shield. I really like the shield. I want all I want all the things for the shield. That's what I want. All everything. Um, anyway, you just get stuff like that. Extras. Stuff and things like that and then you click add to cart and you're done put in your credit card number or whatever however you buy things offline and you're usually ready to buy your origin PC again origin is one of my favorite sites because they do have so many options and they're just um, they seem like they don't slack on things they seem like they actually really like what they're doing and they want to put your computer together and they want the computer to do uh, wonders for you I guess because that's a that's beautiful right there but thank you guys for watching if you want subscribe and um, I should be having um, some more videos out like this about cyber power I buy power and you know some other things like that um, thank you thank everybody for watching